What's up everyone, Fred Nelson here. This video is going to be a video about what's in my dock. Now I have quite a few applications in my dock and I found a few interesting applications that I've decided to put in my dock. I'll be going through all of those down here and also those up here. So there's going to be a series of, or of videos like this coming out soon. This is basically what I have in the beginning, and you can see if you find some if you find some interesting apps, I'll and I'll put them in the dock. I'll be sure to show them to you for you, show them to you in another video. So let's get started. To the left, I have the Finder, that is basically the Windows Explorer for Mac, basically to browse files. Then we have Firefox, my web web browser of choice. I know it's not as fast as Google Chrome, however, I love the add-ons and how it works. It just familiar, it has a lot of bookmark syncing. I know Google Chrome has the same, but I prefer the way Firefox integrates with add-ons and you basically have an add-on for everything, like the App Store and the iPhone. Then we have Mail, uh, Mac Mail. It is, it is very, very good. Uh, I love how it integrates with Mobile Me and the notifications and I would like the sound to be a little more clear though, but I, I love the way it integrates with the Mac operating system. Next up is Address Book, basically to keep up with contacts, the sync with Mobile Me with your iPod Touch or iPhone, soon coming the iPad as well. They, uh, they're pretty useful, I mean, uh, they integrate really, really well with the operating system. Next up is iPhoto, that is basically a photo management system. Although it does not have uh, physical files for each photo, it does have a photo library file, and inside of that, you have uh, something called faces, places, and events. And faces is basically when you take a picture and you say uh, whose face is on this, you name them, and it'll recognize uh, it'll recognize all the people that with those face uh, with that face in your album. Say yes to a few, say no to a few, and get just gets better at recognizing the specific face. And in the end, it just knows who who it is uh, on every single picture. So it, it works really well, and it is a great photo management system. Uh, there's also events and places, basically the same thing. It works with geotagging and events that you assign to it. Next up is iMovie. It is pretty good editing software. I use it to uh, to to change my sound and my camera. As you may know, my camera is not that good. So I what I do is I remove the buzzing noise it has and also remove uh, the how's it called. Uh, I make it twenty eighty at seven seven twenty p which is very, very useful. Next up is GarageBand. I use that to learn how to play guitar sometimes. Just to, I'm, I'm beginning, I mean, I don't really have a teacher or anything, so I use GarageBand to just check out the notes and or the chords and basically get the gist of it. You can also use it to make loops and play in songs, you know? Next up is iTunes. It integrates very well with the Mac operating system. Most of these are default Mac software, so they, they of course, integrate really well. What iTunes does uh, on the Mac is, uh, even when you close it, it still keeps playing the song. However, for Windows, if you close it, the song stops. Um, I just like iTunes a lot more than the Mac operating system. Next is iCal. Uh, you may be mistaking that for iCalculator. <laughs> I once did when I first heard the name. No, it's iCalendar, and it is a great calendar system and syncs very well with the iPhone and iPod Touch. Next up is ScreenFlow, a really, really good um, Screen recording client. I you have made a review on that. The the editing part, how the editing on this uh, software is amazing. Uh, I would recommend this software to anyone. It's a hundred bucks. Go get it. Next up is Tweety. Tweety is my uh, my Twitter application. Really, it is very small, and as you can see, it just integrates really well right down here, and you can just go through all of the uh, all of the people you really follow. So just close this down and minimize that so I can check out the tweets later after I've done this video. Then we have the Net News Wire that basically uh, syncs with Google Reader and it just permits you to read all of your RSS feeds, go to latest items, and you can read all of the articles or new articles on the sites you're uh, subscribed to. So next up is Microsoft Word for Mac. You basically get the gist. Skype is really, really good on uh, the Mac operating system. It basically has a dialog box, has your contacts, that's it. And then it has another window for all of the chats you're having. Then we have Time Machine. I have not, I'm not sure if it's going to record if I go into Time Machine, 
what it basically does is that it syncs with an external backup drive and you can go through time and see how the, this specific folder has looked over time and if you've deleted a file you can quickly restore it back. It doesn't take up that much space on the drive so it's pretty good. Then we have system preferences, basically the control panel. So next up is what I have right here. I have Tweety right now. I have ScreenFlow. I can stop the recording, pause, hide the desktop. Then we have Better Touch Tool. Better Touch Tool lets me just do do some stuff with my magic mouse. Really. I can. Uh, oh, that's what she said. No, I can. I can use my magic mouse to. If I want to activate Expose, I use two fingers swipe up. Activates Expose. If I want, if I swipe down, hides the desktop. It is a very useful useful app, and I would have gotten the. Uh, Apple Mouse now it's called if it wasn't for this application so of course the Magic Mouse lacks quite a lot of features or a few buttons but thanks to this it does not anymore and through gestures you can do anything you want then we have mobile me syncing and we have time machine syncing Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, sound, time and date and universal sync and that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching this video. This was FF Combelb. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for more videos if you are interested in these this series. And please comment, rate, subscribe. And that's it for today, everyone. Bye-bye.